The Ministries of Labour and Public Works have collaborated to train and assess persons who wish to attain an electrical contractor's license. This was made possible with the signing of a Memorandum of Understanding, MOU. CEO of the Board of Industrial Training, BIT, Richard Mon, and Acting Chief Electrical Inspector of the Government Electrical Inspectorate, Kevin Grimmon, inked the MOU on Monday. Through this MOU, the Public Works Ministry will provide the syllabus for the program, while the Labor Ministry, through BIT, will facilitate training and conduct assessments of persons wishing to attain the license. Labor Minister Joseph Hamilton, in his remarks, said that both the ministries thought it fit and important to have the issue of contractors paying hefty fines for a building to be signed off discontinued. A lot of people run wires <laughs> um, in the construction industry, but in large measure, uh, most of them are unable uh, to sign off on a building. So we are attempting here together collaboratively to, to bring that to an end and to see how the inspectorate department could help us uh, regard accreditation, certification of persons we are training in electrical installation. Meanwhile, Public Works Minister Bishop Juan Edgil revealed that this will create an avenue for hundreds of women and men in this field to be adequately trained. He also said it is the intention of the PPPC administration under the stewardship of President Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali to make the delivery of services to citizens easier. The minister has charged the GEI to work more proactively due to the increase of electrical fires and to ensure inspections are carried out on government buildings. When the buildings were built, the circuits and sun and, and amps that they, they, they put in there were not for what is happening now. So we have to do a lot of upgrades. And, and in doing those upgrades, we got to get people out there with the skills to get it done.